NEET PG is probably the worst handled exam in our country. Worst time of our lives. Your whole life depends on this exam. All of us are very vulnerable. We are scared. We are anxious. Abhi mujhe karna kya hai samaj nahi aara. I don't I don't know what to read. Way to read from everything is so enormous and all over the place. The outcomes of your future, your career and your life choices will depend on this exam. There are students who message me uh, that their parents give them a lot of anxiety. Agar rank nahi lagegi to life ka kya hoga? Shaadi kaun karega? Main shaadi kisse karunga? NEET PG is probably the worst handled exam in our country and yet here we are just a few more days left for the exam we are at the cusp of what is probably the most important exam of your life obviously we have doubts and concerns and anxiety all around us selection hoga ki nahi maine jo padha wo aayega ki nahi next year NEET hoga ki next hoga this exam and its preparation and its journey has been a big pain in your life you just want to get it over with so that you can move on to the next phase of your life you just want your life back we all do and we will get there in just a matter of few days but before we do in this video i want to quickly remind you of all the last minute do's and don'ts before you go for this exam and if you for some reason were off track maybe this video will bring you back Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Basali, a full-time orthopedic surgeon and a faculty of orthopedics. So let's start with the first don't. Don't stay up too late before the exam. See, I know that all of us have a tendency to read just before the exam, to work extra hard in the last few days. And so we sacrifice our sleep to study a little more. See, there is no point in trying to cram a little more information at the cost of a very, very important sleep before the exam. Now, you'll be like, sir, it's okay, right? हमको तो नींद ही नहीं आने वाली है वैसे भी टेंशन में नाउ आई डोंट वांट टू आर्ग्यू दैट आई एम जस्ट सेइंग दैट इफ यू आर इंटेंशनली ट्राइंग टू कीप योरसेल्फ अवेक टू स्टडी अ लिटिल मोर यू आर एक्चुअली डूइंग योरसेल्फ अ डिसर्विस सी व्हाटएवर यू आर गोइंग टू रीड द नाइट बिफोर द एग्जाम देयर इज अ चांस दैट इट माइट शो अप ऑन द एग्जाम बट देयर इज आल्सो अ हायर चांस दैट यू विल बी अनएबल टू आंसर द क्वेश्चंस दैट यू ऑलरेडी रीड बिकॉज़ ऑफ लैक ऑफ स्लीप योर ब्रेन नीड्स टू बी रेस्टेड टू फिश आउट द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट यू हैव प्रोक्योर्ड मंथ्स और इयर्स इन एडवांस आई हैव टोल्ड दिस मेनी मेनी टाइम्स दिस is not one of those exams where you cram information in the last moment and just regurgitate it on the paper this is an exam where there's a lot of processing and comprehension required and for that aapko chahiye a good night's sleep at least 6 to 7 hours should suffice if you're someone who can sleep easily lucky for you but if you're not please try to adjust that cycle the second thing i want to talk about is trusting yourself trusting your journey and preparation see while you've been revising the last few days you must have come across many many times where you sit down and think yaar ye to maine kitne acha padha tha i i remember this so very well then i spent so many hours trying to understand this then i could recall it so fast but abhi yaad nahi aa raha abhi difficulty ho rahi hai and this is the phase that everyone is in right now you must trust yourself you must trust your ability that you have read about this a long time ago and you should trust that you still remember it it's just that it's not coming out right now see you have not been accumulating information the last few days right you've been reading about this since years i'm not saying specifically for this exam but the whole curriculum as in मेडिसिन इतने सालों से तो पढ़ाई कर रहे हो ना कुछ ना कुछ तो याद रहेगा इफ यू गेट इनटू दैट माइंडसेट कि यार मुझे कुछ नहीं आ रहा है कुछ याद नहीं हो रहा है ना जस्ट टेल योरसेल्फ सी दिस इज एन एमसीक्यू बेस्ड एग्जाम द आंसर विल बी राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी आई विल जस्ट हैव टू चूज द बेस्ट अमंग द ऑप्शंस एंड बिकॉज़ यू हैव टू चूज समथिंग दैट इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू देयर इज अ हाई चांस दैट यू विल बी एबल टू रिकॉल इट एंड टू फर्मली बिलीव एंड ट्रस्ट योर एबिलिटीज टू रिकॉल इट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस थर्ड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग गेटिंग इनटू द जोन व्हाट इज दिस जोन दिस जोन इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ बीइंग unshakable in terms of your belief unshakable with confidence and strong with peace this confidence and belief that whatever the situation may be you will be able to overcome it but the problem right now is that all of us are very vulnerable we are scared we are anxious this is probably the worst time of our lives so sir how do you expect us from being so under confident right now to being confident zero se hero kaise bane the truth is that you can't but but you can actually preserve whatever little confidence you have whatever little piece you have you need to protect it so these are the few things that i would suggest you to do in order to preserve your confidence and peace number 1 avoid testing yourself anymore now now unless uh, giving test and writing grant test was part of your preparation to do just a few days before the exam you can do it but if it wasn't there is no point in testing yourself right now because if god forbid your scores turn out to be low you will be disheartened and your confidence will be shattered number 2 avoid reading anything new even if you think it's very simple but sir I started preparing just uh, one month ago. Mai mai 
आपसे बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ सर आपके लिए तो हर चीज़ नहीं है आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट पीपल हु हैव बीन प्रिपेयरिंग सी सीरियसली डोंट रीड एनीथिंग न्यू राइट नाउ दिस इज नॉट द टाइम सी लास्ट टाइम अराउंड अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट जस्ट बिफोर द एग्जाम और ऑल ओवर द प्लेस रनिंग अराउंड टू फाइंड इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर कोविड यू नो द वैक्सीन द ड्रग्स एंड ट्रीटमेंट्स एंड दे वेस्टेड द प्रेशियस फ्यू मोमेंट्स और द डेज बिफोर द एग्जाम एंड दे आर ऑल वेरी एंशियस अबाउट इट बट Unfortunately, nothing came from COVID on the exam. So what I'm saying is, it's not that जो आप पढ़ोगे वो नहीं आएगा वैसा नहीं है I'm just saying कि preserving your mental peace and confidence is very very important right now. Number थ्री avoid any kind of interaction that will trigger you. The best way to do this is to avoid both the overachievers and the underachievers. You know, overachievers तो आपको डरा देंगे अंडर अचीवर्स इतना सुडो कॉन्फिडेंस देंगे कि जो आप पढ़ रहे हो वो भी बंद कर दोगे ये दोनों आपको बर्बाद करने वाले एंड अवॉइडिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ ट्रिगर आल्सो इन्वॉल्व्स अवॉइडिंग योर फैमिली देर आर स्टूडेंट्स हु मैसेज मी दैट दैट पेरेंट्स देर मदर्स देर फादर्स गिव दम अ लॉट ऑफ एंगजाइटी एंड देर आर प्रॉब्लली अलॉट ऑफ टॉक्सिक पीपल इन योर फैमिली दिस इज द टाइम टू अवॉइड दम टेक देर ब्लेसिंग टेल दम दो में याद रखना एंड सी दम आफ्टर द एग्जाम द एम इज वॉट यू डू जस्ट preserve your sanity preserve your peace and the last thing i want to tell you right now is that some of you may be in the phase ki yaar abhi mujhe karna kya hai samajh nahi aa raha i don't i don't know what to read way to read from everything is so enormous and all over the place i just don't have time to do anything this is because of the undue pressure you have put yourself because of the exam so if you have absolutely no idea what to read way to read from stop take a deep breath and do the most valuable thing you can do right now sleep no obviously not when i say the most valuable thing i mean in terms of the exam what is the most valuable thing you can do right now the two most valuable things that you can do that will help your preparation is number 1 do the previous year questions and number 2 review your 20th book if you have already made it i think if you can do any of these two when you have no idea what to do you are still in the safe zone the idea is to just keep yourself engaged doing some something that will have relevance and value for the exam because there is a high probability that questions will come from these two places previous year questions and the 20th notebook and instead of wasting your time worrying about what you should do you'll actually end up doing something relevant for the exam and finally even after all the preparation and the mental gymnastics that we will do to protect ourselves there will be time where we will slip and break down we may suddenly start to go into a spiral ki yaar agar rank nahi lagegi to life ka kya hoga shaadi kaun karega मैं शादी किससे करूंगा एंड द मोर यू स्टार्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट इट द मोर यू स्टार्ट वरिंग अबाउट कि यार मैं सोच रहा हूं मैं पढ़ नहीं रहा हूं एंड देन यू विल एंड अप वेस्टिंग मोर एंड मोर टाइम दैट इज द टाइम आई जस्ट वांट यू टू स्टॉप एंड टेक अ ब्रीदर एंड स्लीप फॉर अ वाइल सी रिमेंबर दैट इवन दो राइट नाउ इट लुक्स लाइक योर होल लाइफ डिपेंड्स ऑन दिस एग्जाम द आउटकम्स ऑफ योर फ्यूचर योर करियर एंड योर लाइफ चॉइसेस विल डिपेंड ऑन दिस एग्जाम इट माइट फील लाइक एवरी गुड थिंग दैट कैन हैपन और बैड थिंग दैट कैन हैपन इन द फ्यूचर विल ओनली एंड ओनली बी बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस एग्जाम इट Just feel like that right now. I know that, but trust me, it's not true. I've been in this place multiple times in my life. You have to take my word for it. Sirf dikta waise hai, utna important hai nahi. See, I know NEET PG is probably the toughest exam of your life. It is the most important exam of your life. But then there are other very very important moments of your life also that are worth looking forward to. Like the day you get married, uh, like the day you hold your child, or or buy the most expensive thing for your parents, or like the day you decide to subscribe to this. channel these are the more important days of your life and that day you will turn back around and look at these days and you will laugh and be like yaar main kitna darr raha tha yaar life utni buri bhi nahi hai so whatever the outcome of this exam you have to believe that better days are waiting for you after this exam and with that my friends i wish you all the best and i will see you on the other side till then take care bye bye